Ladies and gentlemen, our fourth bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cajun Aggression Amateur Middleweight Division, powered by Marigold. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, he stands 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighed in at 183 pounds. He trains at Southern River Martial Arts and is sponsored by Emerald Buddha Tattoo, Southern River Registered Longhorns, and SUPS.com. Joining us from Lancaster, Wisconsin, Ethan Soderstrom! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands an even six feet tall and weighed in at 186 pounds. He trains at Pura Vita, BJJ, and MMA. Joining us from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Brian Sullivan! Here we go, getting ready to kick off the fourth night of the evening. Ethan Soderstrom going up against Brian Sullivan. Referee calling a start to the action as they tough it up, touch it up in the middle of the cage. Pole still looking 50-50, JB. 50-50 down the line. Both these guys got a little bit of footwork going on, some checks, a little bit of a leg kick. There's a left. Soderstrom getting caught, though, up against the cage. Nice tee kick there from Soderstrom to get a little distance. Sullivan in that southpaw stance. Always tough to train for that. Is it not champ the southpaws? Yes, it is. Nice whiz wizard there to get him good off Good knee to the body right there. Another yeah. good knee to Big the body. Big knee from Sullivan. Oh, good shots. Ground and pound's working. Oh. Another Those knees good are knee to the body. Yes, they are. Sullivan trying to catch that plum. Now down to the ground. Sullivan from inside. Mount there. Let's see if he can take advantage of this position. You know, Ethan weathered that storm. A lot of shots. Got the takedown. Let's see what he can do with it. Yeah, Soderstrom's strong. Powerful, powerful guy. Yeah. Some ground and pound shots right there still. Sullivan able to get to his feet. Yeah, good underhook there. Trying to get out. Oh, back to his uh, back. Soderstrom. That, that was wrestling pain. And now we're in full mount, That folks. was power. Yeah. That's what happened arm when you triangle, press. Oh, arm arm triangle. Triangle. oh, that might be it, guys. That That's is tight. tight. That, is, that tight. is tight. And he is strong, fresh in this it first round. Like he's going to bed. I don't see him getting out of this one, guys. Oh. He's, his arm's going to roll up. He's still trying. He's trying to defend that. that left arm is not looking great. He's still not tapping, though. He's turning. Champ, oh, what's he need to do to He needs to throw a punch with that arm wow. that's trapped and turned. Testament to Sullivan surviving that. That was... I thought that was locked oh, in. Oh, getting a little bit high. Getting a little bit high. Sullivan's getting a little too big out. of a hurry. Ooh. Sullivan doesn't look like he's been able to catch his breath, though. Soderstrom's been relentless here in this first round. About one minute left here. Sullivan maintaining some wrist control there. Ethan taking his time, trying to posture up right here. Goes with that left. On his feet, still going for the ground and pound. Couple good lefts right there, trying to hold his head in place, making it more effective. Attempt there, missed that. Oh, Ooh, nice got got that Ooh, that wow, that would have been wild. That would have been crazy. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. Act I've seen one, but not the King's aggression. Soderstrom muscled out of that. 30 yes, seconds no left here. Goga Plata now. Goga Plata. Round number Gotta one pull here. Pull that head down onto his shin. And he's doing it yep. right there. Yep. There it is. Uh, Eddie Bravo almost. Got to get that other leg out and trap him. Got to get the other leg out and on top. Now he's. Hunting a choke block on the left arm. There he goes. Soderstrom slips out of it. That was Ten a lot seconds of energy. Left. Absolutely. Lot of energy. For both fighters, a lot of energy expended here in this first round. Who's Five got, seconds left. Who's got the gas tank? Well, unfortunately, Sullivan's best moments were in the beginning before he oh, got took down. Arm bar. Oh, wow. Not enough time. Not enough time. Saved nice by the bell. Absolutely. Very exciting first round. I think it's still an Ethan Soderstrom round, though. And he's looking pretty confident coming over into his corner, too, yes, by the he way. Is. Not too depleted, either. Not, neither of them taking too deep a breath. Looks like their gas tank's still, still working for him. Well, I like that Sullivan stayed on his feet because he was, you know, actively on the bottom. He was still trying to throw things up in that last minute. Had a little bit of success. Almost almost rolled into that uh, omoplata, like you said. Almost. <laughs> so does from then. Spun his arm the other way and did a curl and got out of it. Yeah, <laughs> and that's and that's a testament to this guy's power. Viking. Yes, yeah. yes, very Viking-like. Yeah. 
It reminds me of uh, Ben Rothwell muscling out of stuff. Ben I can't Rothwell. believe Ben is still fighting. He is, man. Still fighting out there. Ben Doing is, good, too. Ben is definitely from uh, Viking DNA. Right. He's that lead horse swinging that big axe there in the old Viking army. He's back also in the, day. the champion of going through more ring names than any human on the planet. <laughs> we started with Big Ben, then he wanted to make up his own name, and he said he wanted to be the the Blue Star, okay, the North Star, <laughs> the North Star. And I told him that we're going to call him the Brown Star if he does that. Oh. We digress, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ethan Soders and Brian Sullivan opening up here in the second round. Good right hand from Sullivan. Keeping it on his feet. That straight left. Yep. Hey, Soderstrom about to go for a shot there. See Sullivan throw that head kick with that left leg. And let's see if Sullivan adjusts. If he adjusts to keep that distance so he Without can shoot and get back on his feet. Yeah, stay away from the cage. He's doing a good job getting in there with the left and bouncing out, not letting uh, Soderstrom get too close. Tagging him. Yep. Soderstrom looks like he's breathing a little heavy. Taking some deep Agreed. breaths there. Oh, kick to liver. the body. Nice shot to the midsection there. You can see a distinct different look Grimace. on Soderstrom's face. Yes, absolutely. Ooh, good right. Sullivan doing a good job of keeping up into the strikes there. He's circling around the cage much better. Yeah, absolutely. Lateral motion. Lateral motion. Soderstrom not smart. as eager to eager to shoot as he was there in that first round. Whoa. There nice shot. Is. Caught that leg. Got him. Sullivan on his back again. Sullivan quick oh, to oh. almost get up. Let's see it. Does he have a so choke? It's hard for me to see. Oh, Darcy? Nope, none. Can't see what he, nope, not Sullivan so. not in a terrible position here. Uh -huh. And now he's on top. Now the question is, does he stay here? Does he try the ground and pound? Does he go for the distance and make him stand up again where he was having some success? Posture up and start letting him fly. Yeah, absolutely, man. Soderstrom is already showing some fatigue there. Get him on his back and take advantage of this position. Not sure how much time we have left, but I would assume about a minute or so. Sullivan, ooh, lands two big shots, third shot. Covering up Soderstrom. Yep. Soderstrom on his back, covering up there. He baited most of those shots. Sullivan pushing down on the neck. Oh, look at him. Being very conservative, though. He's not blowing his wide as Sullivan. He's maintaining some poise here in this position. Got his arm there. That's a fatigued arm bar there. Fatigued arm bar attempt. <laughs> Sullivan doing a good job of crowding him. Definitely yeah. his round at this point. Yeah, capitalizing on that fatigue sort of seems to be displaying. Posture up and start punching. Working that body, too. Not just head hunting, pounding that body. Slow and steady here, Sullivan. Slowly grinding down here, Soderstrom, here at the end of the second round. How much are these guys going to have left in the third round? That's the big question. Without a shadow of a doubt, they're both getting up slow. Soderstrom taking some deep breaths. Sullivan seems to be pretty fresh over there. Yeah, he's over there laughing. Seems spry, still pretty spry. I'll say this, I think we're at about a round apiece. Yes. And uh, it could be anybody's fight. Sullivan does look a lot more relaxed, but that doesn't guarantee him a victory. Right. As you know, if uh, Soderstrom can get it into the ground, he's definitely uh, the more effective fighter right now. This third round will definitely be the difference maker, without a doubt. After Sullivan in reverse position there, landing some good shots. We are just beginning night number one, ladies and gentlemen. Cage Aggression 32, no limits, right here live and direct from the River Center and broadcasting around the world on pay-per-view, cageaggression.tv. Thank you guys so much for joining us as we are about to call a start to the action of round three. Touching up in the middle of the cage. Here we go. <laughs> Sullivan looking really fresh with that yeah, one, too. Absolutely. Bouncing around there, light on his feet. Switching stances. Yeah. Ooh, him one, two. Left. Caught him with that left big. Yeah, good. Caught him with another Seems like he's wearing Soderstrom down. No, Soderstrom's 
very, with very a shot there. You can see right there, he didn't have a lot on that takedown. Does not he's able to push him off. He's getting struck out right now. Does not have that same energy. almost looking to clean him out. Try him. If he keeps it on his feet like this, that's exactly what's going to happen. Soderstrom caught that shot. That body kick hurt him, too. He, wil he wilted as he grabbed his legs. Those are hurt. Yes, he did this not might leg be lock, it. Leg this lock might attempt. be right here. I think he's going to go down. Those leg lock attempt. Him. Yeah, he can. You might be right, Mr. Morris. He's locking it Might be. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he had it in. He's got to put his feet on the hips. Now he's going to get counter leg locked. Yeah. you got to control where your legs are. Sullivan weathering the storm thus far in this leg lock. Right, kick away with your Just under two minutes to go in the fight. Just, just what does gonna, he need to do, Kent? You gotta, split the, you gotta split the feet. Now he's hoping for a reverse heel hook, which is the nastiest leg lock. Uh, so so going for to, it. There he is. He's trying to counter with the push off there with his right foot is Sullivan. He's just not got his feet in a proper position. Get up on that foot. A good leg locker would be taken. Uh, Oh, Paul Soder. Harris would have taken that leg with Soder, 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 Yeah, putting that another leg on his wall. Yeah. Ooh! Ooh! He's got to watch that Those face. are legal. Those are legal. They're all legal. Those didn't feel Keep dropping. Drop on the clavicle. I like that clavicle drop. I know you do. Well, I'm going to tell you, he hasn't looked in trouble from this uh Is he out? Is he out? No, no, no. He's going back. It's hard to see. His whole neck was back on that side. Yeah, That didn't tickle him. One minute left here in round three. This is going to be a tough round to Attempting score. to lock in this leg lock. Sullivan doing a great job of defending and landing some good shots of his own. He's Got it out. out. Got that foot oh, out. Here we go. And he's about right. to get and on the good foot. Do the bad thing as he's raining down Payback. shots on Soderstrom right here in the center of the cage. When you get out of a submission and you end up on top, you have that thought in your head. Now it's time to pay. Payback. Payback time. That get back. 30 seconds left here in round three. Sullivan inside control. Soderstrom just looks gassed at this point. Isolated that arm. Sullivan could just really have his way with him at this point. Soderstrom definitely fatigued. This third round is the difference maker here. I would love to see some elbows and stereo shots. He had him lined up. They were wide open right there. And honestly, I don't think that's his fault. Oh. I think the coaches have to say, hey, you've got open elbows. Sure. Try to clean them out right there. Both fighters gave it all. Sullivan looking gas. Soderstrom looking gas. I do believe my man Sullivan here edged that one out there in that third round. I would say so. Yeah. Pretty safe bet on that. Both fighters empty in that gas tank there in that third round. Sullivan leaning on the ref. Goes down in the dam. Sullivan throwing down some water. That was some. Good, that was a good scrap, man. We've had nothing but good scraps here tonight, which I expect nothing less here when we talk about Cage aggression MMA. Look at that. Let me do a cowboy roll and dust away from you there. <laughs> Did our pole tighten up there at, at, at the end there, JB, at all? Stayed 50-50 the entire way through, that right makes, down the line. That makes sense. That was a 50-50 kind of fight, except for that third round where I think Sullivan pulled away there. Edged him out there. Had the gas tank a little more full than Soderstrom. Beginning of that leg lock. You know, you need to be able to transition to other leg locks, other offense than just the Achilles lock. Going to move on to the... Heel hooks and roll them into knee bars, things like that. Toe Ooh, box. Serious, serious heel. What it, that pack is going to be sore tomorrow. Oh, man. Good. Oh, wow. That was a pretty serious shot there. Sullivan dropped on him while he was, Soderstrom was trying to lock in that leg lock. Woo. The gas tank, the gas tank, the gas tank. Here we are with the final decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to your judges scorecard for our decision. All three judges scored this contest 29, 28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Brian Sullivan. Brian Sullivan picking up the unanimous decision victory over a very game Ethan Soderstrom. All right, come on over here, Brian.
I gotta congratulate you on a big win over a very tough Ethan Soderstrom, man. Hey, how does it feel getting that win in the caged aggression cage? It was like a war. Amazing, you know? You don't get these moments a lot. And I'm just happy I was able to stay in here and show my skills. So, hell yeah, man. Hey, there was a moment there, I think it was the second round, you guys were kind of close over to the timekeeper. I thought I heard one of you apologize to the other one there. Um, very rare that happens in a fight. I gotta ask, what happened? So when we were going, I kind of swung a little too wild and my forearm smacked him in his chin. And honestly, I felt really bad, so I was like, I'm sorry, I'm a fair sport, man. I just try to keep it clean. So look, there was another moment there in the third round. I know Ethan was working on his submission. Looked like he had it kind of deep at a couple points there. You landed a big shot on the ground, and there were a lot of people cage side that thought it might have put him out for a second. Did you notice any different after that big shot? No, I was just worried about my ankle, you know, like, first things first, my safety. So, like, when he didn't let go, I was like, just try again. And as soon as he started lighting off, I was like, okay, maybe I can start, like, rising up and start finishing my job. Well, look, we know you're at a very young point in your career but a very exciting fighter to watch. We're definitely looking forward to see what's around the corner, but before I let you get to it, is there anything that you need to add or anything that I might have forgot? Um, hey, Mom, hey, Dad. I just wanna say rest in peace, Charlie. I always love you, man, you'll never love my soul. Rest in peace, Tyrone. I'm sorry I'm not gonna make your funeral, but I'm glad I made you happy. I know you guys love that I'll fight, so here I am. All right, well, I wanna congratulate you again one more time on your win tonight, Brian. Enjoy it, enjoy the celebration and enjoy the rest of everything else. One more time for your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Brian Sullivan.